can the pub watch ban someone who is working in a member's venue? A member of bar staff has been banned by our scheme for sexually harassing a customer. Can he continue working at the venue? Well, this is a complicated issue. But in general terms, I'd say that a pub watch ban is not intended to interfere with a person's right to employment. However, much will depend on how this person's manager intends to deal with the issue. Are they aware of the allegation? He was at the meeting when the decision was taken, but I don't know what he intends to do. Well, I think your starting point is to find out exactly what he intends to do. It may well be that the company decides that the employee's actions amount to gross misconduct or it brings the company into disrepute. They will undoubtedly have to take legal advice, but if they do dismiss the person, then the issue will be no different to any other pub watch ban. And what happens if they decide not to do anything and continue to employ him? It's obviously a decision for your members and you might need to consider taking your own legal advice. Making some basic background checks might help you to come to a decision. For example, if he continues to work front of house, then he'll be visible to other customers and will in part be responsible to policing pub watch bans. As such, he is in a position to undermine the work of the scheme. But on the other hand, if he's not working front of house and you're assured that he won't be allowed to socialise in the venue, then it may be that you decide to take no further action. What options are open to us? Look, it's perfectly reasonable for you to speak to the member and discuss the dangers to the scheme. It might be that if he continues to employ this person, that he's willing to voluntarily withdraw his venue from the scheme during the period of the ban. If he won't do that, then I suppose it'll be a decision for the membership as to whether you want the venue to remain a member. As I've said previously, this really is a decision for your members, and it might be that you have to call an emergency general meeting. Don't forget, though, this has nothing to do with the guilt or innocence of the employee. It's about the processes of the scheme and how you implement the collective common law decisions taken by your members. Thanks for the advice. I'll speak to the venue to see what they intend to do about the issue. Visit us at nationalpubwatch.org.uk to find the Good Practice Guide and other useful resources. Or visit our YouTube page where you can find even more handy videos to help you run your pub, club or bar.